Okay, Christine, what's going on? You were worried about being cold. <laughs> I'm not cold. I'm a bit warm. <laughs> it's too hot in here. It's pretty toasty right now. It's supposed to snow tonight. No. And yet, you're not cold. I'm very hot right now. <laughs> so you now know why it's called hot tenting. It is so warm in here. In a good way, but it's warm. Yeah, too warm right now. I gotta shut it down for a bit. Well, Kevin. Yes. You're gonna tell me a bedtime story. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. No, it's well, it's it's bedtime story time. Bedtime stories with Kevin. Uh, seriously, I, I I walked into camp like Tim Conway today. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at chipmunks and bears and night and day. You don't know the story? I don't. No, I don't know the story. All right, story. Um, it's a cool, cool story. I think it's Ojibwe. Uh, it's a native legend. Yeah, and how did night and day come to be? Because we notice it's now dark. It's now night. And we enjoy the day. We enjoy the night because it's a nice full moon. But how did that come to be? So the bear, the black bear, which is still wandering around our campsite right now, actually. <laughs> Which, why we're telling the story, but the bear wanted to be night all the t all the time, and I said, so you're going off to the bathroom, and I said, okay, yeah, well the bears should be fine. Went, no, no, the bears are nocturnal, and, you, and you're like, what? Yeah, no, the bear spends more time out during the night than day. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, okay. The legend is the bear wanted it to be uh, night all the time. And the animals of nature sort of gathered around. Oh, okay, well, let's d debate this. And the chipmunk said, no, I want it to be daytime all the time. So the animals of nature said, okay, well, let's have it out. Let's, let's have it all out. So there's a big battle. So, of course, the big burlesque... Burlesque? Not burlesque. Burly. Burly. <laughs> burly bear put his paw on the chipmunk and everybody's like oh it's gonna be dark all the time oh no the bear won chipmunk lost but the chipmunk pulled itself out of it the what's called the, the paw of the bear and uh escaped and that's why the chipmunk has five marks on his back who knew so the chipmunk escaped and the animals in nature said let it be so that it's a tie that it'll be night and day and that's how we get night and day that's a great bedtime story good because i'm ready to go to bed <laughs> it's been a long day christine oh, i love it oh i'm full of all this thank oh. you you're welcome that was a good story mm -hmm. good night Good night. <laughs> Good morning, Christine. You survived. I did. I started the fire. Trail number three in Killarney Provincial Park. Chicken Shing. It uh, goes across the road from the park to uh, Chicken Shing River, where it flows out into Georgia Bay, and it's all pink granite, not white quartzite. So. It's kind of cool. What was that? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my legs have nothing left in them after yesterday. It's okay, carry on. <laughs> what do you think? It's really beautiful in here. It's different. It's speechless. It's absolutely gorgeous here this morning. Yeah, it is. Like I can't get get over how beautiful it is and how good the weather's been for us. So there's so many trails in Killarney to do for the day from uh, the uh, campground, or even if you want to stay in town at one of the lodges. And uh, you know we've only touched a few of them. Killarney is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. I had no idea how beautiful it was here. 
And I think everybody should come to Clarny. What about you, Ollie? Well, Kevin, I've had enough. It was nice and all, but the kibble was terrible. <laughs> no, Kevin, you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> Oliver loves Clarny too. <laughs> you dragged me along the small rocks. You know my feet are very small. I'm not like her dog angel leaping and bounding.